Hello guys and welcome to a new Wargamer Dragon video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you part 16 of the second Korean War campaign and today it's time to move towards Vladivostok and on the way take Chongjin. I think if we take Chongjin we win the campaign possibly but I'm not entirely sure. But uh, one thing I am going to be looking at aside from that is killing the forces at Ongjin and at Thechon here. The battle at Thechon is already set up. Let's have a look at this and see if we can do it. So we have the 38th Infantry Regiment, we have the Air Defense, the Recon Company and the Artillery Company. It's Haibyung 90, we've got loads of AA. On their side they have the Flying Dragon Special Unit. They rely mostly on aircraft actually. So our anti-air directly counters that. The ground forces are relatively weak. They do have shulkers. They do have spags. But they don't really have anything to stop things like KFV-90s. So I could probably get away with using those. I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll just bring out all of the AA. We'll have the KFV-90s go with them and the Fiat's. And we'll just try and make up the points where we can. We could also possibly bring in our own artillery to counter battery theirs if they use these Tokchons, which they generally do quite often. Let's go ahead and launch this. I'm aware I could have probably brought my helicopters over from Sonchon, I think. But uh, with their shilkers, I'm not convinced that's a great idea. So command infantry in the corner. I think we're going to bring in these bihos. We'll have maybe a couple go one way and a couple go the other way. Like a couple back here. Not an eyehawk. <laughs> like so. I might actually have them kind of defensive to start though. Because they're likely to spawn in Pyongyang, aren't they? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that just in case. I'm going to have the Fiat's in. And we'll have the KFVs in like groups of four. I'm going to keep them at the back of the sector again just in case they spawn everything at Pyongyang. I might have like a bunch of Mistrals dump into this sector. Then we're probably going to need some stuff to take the ground. Not sure. Maybe some Haibyung 90 can come with my KFVs. Because we've got all the recon down. Yeah, I guess we've, that's all we've got left to spend it on. So we'll have a couple of Haibyung come with us as well. And that can be like a little attack force. Maybe could rely on the uh, Seong Gong pose. Guess it doesn't really matter if we lose them. So we'll bring in some of those. And uh, we'll launch the battle. Let's unload those guys. Unload those guys. They didn't capture that. They haven't captured anything. Oh, yep, there they come. Oh, that's uh, all of their HGM helicopters as well. That's not good. Maybe a K263 wouldn't go amiss either. Well, those mistrals are very strong. Okay. Well, that worked. <laughs> Let's take a couple of these and uh, we'll sort of speed across. I'll get my KFVs to go with them. Might get the Seong Gung Pose that way as well. And some LVTPs. So that's like group one. Then we'll have these guys. Push through here with the LVTPs 
and the other two by hers. We should also send some recon with them. I'm tempted to slow it down because these forces are moving quite quickly. Oh, hello, Liege One. Maybe it was a good idea to bring these guys after all. Yeah, it seems they unloaded all of their infantry and then flew off. Well, flew off and got shot down. Got some Q1s there, there. Antier. Bit concerned about this area. Oh, and hello, helicopters. Oh no, they're killing my KFBs. Leave them alone. Okay. Phew. That was uh, pretty ridiculous. My LBTPs have been damaged. Oh, now artillery is coming in as well, isn't it? Of course it is. <sighs> okay. Um, let's not go towards that. We're going to have these LVTPs come down. We need these guys to sort of move upwards. Okay. Now, well, past every valley, we're going to have to actually be really careful now. Especially if they're all going to come over each valley like that. They've captured Foxtrot. Pushing through here is just going to be really difficult. Let's maybe drop off those Haibyung and then bring in some more. What are we being hit by? Oh, the Fiat went through the artillery. Alright, it's time to be a bit more cautious, I think. That works. Right, let's just continue up towards the Tajon Chon. Might be worth keeping a couple of AA pieces around the Takesong sector. Uh, what is that? That is a BTR. One of the only BTRs they have, actually. Kind of awkward. Killed one of my LBTPs. Need the KFPs to deal with that. Okay, good. That's that shot down. Oh, there's a couple more helicopters. Don't want them killing the KFPs. That would suck. Okay, well that was a command, <laughs> which is good. Killed that off. Alright, let's keep moving before they start firing artillery at me again. We got our new LVTP up with us as well, with our infantry. Because ideally what I want to do is not capture necessarily, but stop them from capturing the Tanchon sector. Okay. It's fine. Oh, we're running out of ammunition. Oh, good. Hmm. Bring in some cargoes. Might have to fall back. This is getting to be, or becoming quite an intricate battle actually. Because 
I have to be very careful with how I move stuff up. Especially there. Ouch. Don't want to be going straight into any Z9As at any point. Because they can smash us with their auto cannons. I think these ones are getting low as well, aren't they? Bring in some cargoes. Okay, good. It's another command dead. Both of these bios have run out of ammunition. Okay. Let's have them move back towards where these Haibyung are and we'll meet them there with the cargoes. Tempted to bring even more up to these ones. And I think these will actually use up quite a lot of supply. Oh, this is going to be crazy close. The Z9As are coming with their auto cannons. Ah, uh, run away. We've got a BTR-60BB coming down. Well, that actually reloaded very quickly. Way quicker than I expected. And yeah, look at that. Reloads really fast. Doesn't use that much supply either. Which is nice. That's probably another command, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's relief. We can have these both now zoom back. And I'll keep the cargoes close. There goes another command. 1,129 points left to go. I suppose the artillery hasn't kicked off again. What is that? Oh, it's a Shilka. Hello, Shilka. Do I have to deal with you? Not much, actually. <laughs> Maybe we could bring in some Jigsahagiban to block off that road. They should do the job. Okay, so now it's just a matter of pushing up around this hill with the KFPs. Oh, wow, I just drained those, didn't I? Let's bring in some more. Let's have those go back to base. And we're just going to have everything move around onto the high ground. And then we'll try and push into this complex with my high Byung. Might keep that Fiat there. Should be able to look after itself. Oh, some cargoes. Capturing those would be nice. Oh, we do have the KFBs here, don't we? They're actually getting pretty low on supply, though. Let's move these ones around here. And see their command back there. The main idea is for me to stop them from capping the reinforcement point. And we can focus on the one on the top right. Okay, so Hybion can now attack move forwards. We've got the high ground here, so we should be able to shoot anything that fires at us. Assuming that they have infantry there, but they might not. Have these bios on an attack move? What just shot at us? Oh, 
Ah, uh, it's some tanker shasho, isn't it? That's what it is. Oh, that's a Q1. That, that's really confused me. It's definitely tanker shasho. Yep. Right, we need to get our infantry into line of sight. Or our fire support units into line of sight. Oh hello these one, they're not very fun to deal with. It's not good at all. They can actually rip to shreds my infantry. When I sweep in them down like that, that's nice. Okay good. Let's have these LPTPs move up. It's good. How do I want to deal with these Tokchons? Could maybe move the KFB 90s over there. Oh, we could have these Seagong Poas actually shoot down the Z5. That'd be a good idea. We can get them onto the bridge there and. Yeah, that'd be good. There we go. Shoot him down. Nice, another 100 points in the bag. Oh, is that their last one? If we take out that Z5, that'd be perfect. That wasn't their last one. No, they have one in Foxtrot, don't they? Okay, so we're going to have to go find that. Oh, they just moved it out. Uh, it might be another command helicopter. A lot of Z5s there, though. Or Z9, sorry. sure what that is but it's not lasting very long these are supply vehicles let's go cap them oh never mind what's that infantry nope that is more BTRs oh there's a Z5 we got it okay Job done. The 5th Security Regiment has been destroyed and the Flying Dragon spe Special Unit has been destroyed as well. Really good actually. That's going to leave the Artillery Company and the Anti-Air Company to get away. I'm pretty happy with that result. And that has got rid of the Special Forces Unit. So the Chinese Special Force unit that was sent to exfiltrate the North Korean government was destroyed. It seems the big shots in Pyongyang will have to answer for their crimes after all. Good. Does that give us extra political points? No. Bit of a pointless side objective then. What are we going to do at uh, Tang Chong? I feel like we should be able to push on that with our forces here. The only thing I don't like is that these Kutai 90 have terrible AT weapons. I mean, Carl Gustav's great and all, but not against T-72Ms and T-90s. We could push in with the, the K-1A ones. Maybe. We do have four Chu mats as well. The issue with Chu mats is they aren't that long range. These forces, I really want to send them into Tanchon, but I'm really apprehensive to do so. Supported by the the Nighthawks, I think, fine. Yeah, that would be great. Because there's not really any AA here other than the Shilkers. And we've dealt with AA like that before. Especially if I have, like, K1A ones on the field, right? But the last thing I want to do is sort of move all these forces into Tanchon without these guys being ready. And the good thing is, 
Next turn I can refit and move them in the same turn to Tanchon, I think. Yeah, we go through Taichon to Tanchon. And they'll be able to support that. So I feel like these guys are just going to be put on delay, which actually is okay since a lot of them are lacking cohesion. And the other thing I need to consider is Ong Jin. And at Ong Jin they do have these Chon Ma Ho's. But I believe they also have yeah, anti S some SPACs, which are really good against helicopters. They're 2,800 2, meter range against helicopters. That's pretty nuts. So we'll probably have to rely on airplanes there as well. Or we could bring in some heavier tanks, but I'm not sure where I'd get those heavier tanks from. Can we spawn stuff at Pyongyang now? Let me just check that. Maybe the Dragoons might be a good choice. And maybe these AMX 30B2 Brennises could be brought in from Sonchon. We sort of move them down into Ongjin. It could be an idea. As long as we keep them at range, they'll definitely do a lot of damage. You see the rate of fire difference. Six round per minute rate of fire on the Chon Ma Ho's. It's nine round per minute rate of fire on those AMXs. Pretty nice. What about K1 A1s? They have nine as well. So be matching with like the latest heavy tanks, which is nice. Actually, the other thing we could do is maybe bring over this first armor regiment to Kaesong and then move it into Ongjin. But the trouble is with doing that is I, I'm not sure we'll have enough sort of firepower to push into these sectors as we head up towards Chongjin. We are probably going to refit at Tanchong. But still. Not sure. Choices, choices. Now the other thing to consider is like air support since the Spags aren't that great against like aircraft. Have a look at what the Ark Royal brings us. So the 809th Naval Air Squadron. They have Sea Harriers, which are air to air. Got uh, Naval Air Squadron 800, which is the Harrier GR5s. They have four 500 kilogram bombs. They're actually really good against uh, that sort of lighter tank spam. Um, and then they have some Sea Harriers, which are seed. They're not very useful. Not for that battle anyway. And these Lynxes are anti-ship, so that's pointless. What about the French? They bring in Super Etendards, anti-ship, anti-ground. Not really useful against tank spam. Um, these guys, 45-point bombers. Maybe. They're cheap as well. Maybe these guys would be worth a, worth a try. Could bring these out. The difference between their bombs and the GR5s. GR5s have 15 HE. Also, the 40% ECM on the GR5 is really nice to just shrug off the spags. And the fact they get 4 in their payload is pretty decent. Now we're not going to be buying in any of the Americans and any of the Marine forces from the Americans this turn. Don't think I need to spend the cash anywhere else. So maybe I bring in the 4th Dragoons Battalion. We'll move them down to Ongjin. Saying that I can't. We'll move them into Pyongyang. <laughs> and then next turn we'll move them down into Ongjin. Move in with these troops. And that should be job done. We'll also bring out our, the, the Air Force there. So we'll grab the 800th Naval Air Squadron. And they can, for this turn, fly to Son Chon. Or maybe even Tae Chon. 
There's not much AA there, and I think they're definitely going to counterattack that sector. So it'd be good to be prepared. But that's going to leave us with 19. We're going to move the 13th Infantry Regiment up to Chonchon. We're going to R&R &R these guys since they're not attacking this turn. I don't think we need to move the Special Aviation Battalion. What about this Escort Fatilla? We're going to start moving them back round to join my other naval forces over here. And then we'll just have the Foch Carrier move into Naval Sector Charlie and the Ark Royal move into Naval Sector Alpha. Okay, what about the forces at Sonchon? We didn't need to use these helicopters to take out Echon, so I think I'm going to refit and R&R &R in the same turn. Just max them out, why not? Then the RSCM, they can R&R &R as well. Great. So in general, we're in a pretty good spot. But that is going to be everything done for this turn, I think. Not a very aggressive turn. We're going to R&R &R all of these troops. And we're just going to chill out, get our cohesion, and uh, then attack more aggressively next turn. Because we're pushing into Tanchong, and we'll be destroying them at Onjin. Our naval forces, they need to actually get going. Haven't moved them yet. I'm just going to bunch them all up. And then push forwards all together. Maybe have some of them branch off into Naval Sector India or Naval Sector Lima if they push some forces towards us. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. Could also refit these Dragonflies and the Jigong Hoes. And we're going to have more than enough to do that, I think. So let's just uh, spend those extra points to max out those aircraft and I'm going to move them into Seoul for this turn just in case we get attacked from Ongjin. Fantastic, let's end the turn. Okay, so Chinese reinforcements have come in at Jonchon. And I think we're going to get attacked at Taechon. Oh, never mind. It's it's gone straight on to our turn again. Okay, that's good. That's exactly what I wanted, actually. They are actually setting up a defense around Chongjin, aren't they? That should be fine. Oh, they've moved away with the T-90s here. Hmm. Maybe if we refit the Hornets... We can move into Tanchong with all of these forces and attack without our tanks because the T-90s aren't there anymore. And I'm pretty sure the Nighthawks can freely run over the T-72Ms. Although saying that, maybe not <laughs> because 16 Chokers. I think if one of these tank battalions could fight, then we could go for it. I'm not sure. Like all of a sudden, I've got like tons of hard choices. Right. We've moved um, onto land here. These guys don't need to refit, do they? But that's going to free up the 40th Commando. What's the range on Shilkers, actually? It's 2,400 versus helicopters. Because I am extremely tempted to use these Lynx 3s. Also, Milan 2s are very useful. So maybe 40th Commando could move into the Tanchon battle as well. Or we'll leave the French at Sonchon. We need to move the 4th Dragon's Platoon, or Dragoon's Battalion, sorry, down to Ongjin. 
We're going to then move in with these forces. Move in with our air force as well. They brought some J7Hs over actually. And I'm pretty sure we can shoot them down with our Jigong hoes. I could just be extra careful and put my Tomcats in there for this turn. I think I might do that. Um, 13th Infantry Regiment can move up. And that, guys, has unfortunately been my time. That's where I'm going to leave it. We've set up battles for Seichong, we've got Tanchong, and we've got Ongjin. Definitely going to sort out those three provinces in the next episode. But that's all for now, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.